Hi, I'm Krista. I'm glad you're joining us because today's show is really serious. We got a letter a while ago from Jackie in Midland, Texas. She asked us to pray for her because she's 11 years old and she has anorexia. So we wanted to do a show for her and anyone else who struggles with this kind of stuff. Jackie, this show's for you. I'm sure glad you got that little heater, Colby. Yeah, now we can at least take our coats off. <laughs> Guys, would you mind hanging up your coats? Yeah, we just finished cleaning up this clubhouse and we don't want to do it again. Okay, Brittany. See, I'm hanging up my coat. Good. Now you can help us find some of these puzzle pieces. Right, 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 right. Excuse me. Excuse me. If you all want to sit down, simply take the average amount of space occupied by each of you and divide it into the number of linear feet available, and then you will find that there's... There's plenty of room for all of us. Oh, that's exactly what I was going to say. Ooh. Boy, it sure is windy out there. <laughs> Hi, Lindsay. Hi, Lindsay. Hi, Lindsay. Hi, Lindsay. I am sure glad that I am inside this nice warm clubhouse where all the dust and leaves won't get inside of my circuitry. <laughs> oh, a new puzzle. Yeah, Brittany brought it. My daddy bought it for me yesterday. Good. Hey, look, Brittany, I found the corner piece. Good job, Kira. Thanks. So, where'd you go, Lindsay? See, well, Kristen invited me to the mall with her because, you know, she's going to a fancy tea with her grandma. Oh. But nothing fits her anymore, so her grandma took her shopping. And she asked me to come with her. That's nice. But her grandma got tired and sat down on a bench. Though I wish she had seen it. Had seen what? Was something wrong with the dress? Not with the dress. Something's wrong with Kristen. What do you mean? Did something happen? I don't know what's happening. But you guys, something's really wrong with her. Oh, uh, what did you see, Lindsay? Well, she tried on this new dress in front of me. And when she took off her sweat, she was just skin and bones. She looked really sick. And then, when I asked her if she had been sick or why she would lose so much weight, she looked straight in the mirror and told me she was fat. What? I couldn't believe it. She thought she was really fat. Uh, are you sure she isn't sick? I mean, her mom would know if she's been sick. I tried to tell her she needed to tell her mom, but she just wouldn't listen. Well. If she is sick, she really should tell her mom. I agree, but Kristen doesn't think anything's wrong with her. Though she did keep saying something about her mom. What did she keep saying about her mom? Well, she told me that her mom was going through a really hard time with her older sister right now, and she didn't want to bother her with anything. But if she's sick, shouldn't she go see a doctor? I know. I want to help her. I just don't know what to do. Whenever we don't know what to do, that is the time that we should seek God. So, let's pray right now. Dear Lord, I pray that you'll take care of Lindsay and show her what to do. And Lord, I pray that you'll take care of any family problems that Kristen's having right now. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 You know, Lindsay, when we give our cares to God, and spend a little time with him, we can always trust him to guide us. Yeah, even though Kristen will be mad at me, I think I should tell her mom. Since she's at the tea with her grandma right now, maybe I should do it. Yeah. I think that is a good idea. Though I might lose her as a friend. We might all lose her if somebody doesn't tell. Yeah. 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 You want me to go with you? That'd be great. It'll be much easier when there's two of us. I am glad that you are following God's voice. You know, sometimes things can get really confusing until we take time to ask God. And when we bring our requests to Him, then He makes everything seem much clearer.
And I don't know if you've seen how really skinny she is, Mrs. James. To be honest, Lindsay, I haven't paid much attention to her lately. I have been so busy with other things. And Kristen is always so good. I wouldn't be here if I didn't care. I really think something's wrong. We don't want anything to happen to her. I know you don't. Kristen doesn't want to worry you, but I think she's in real trouble. Don't worry, Lindsay. I'm glad you're Kristen's friend. I'm glad you both are. What are you doing here? Kristen, I had to tell her. She needs to know so you can get some help. I don't need any help. Kristen, we're your friends. Please, let us help you. How could you do this to me? You're not my friends. Real friends stick by each other. They don't rat on each other to their mom. Kristen, please, no. Kristen, wait. Give her time, girls. You did the right thing by coming to me. I'll talk to her. I think I lost one of my best friends. Actually, Lindsay, I think you just saved a friend. Thank you. So, how'd it go, you guys? It was awful. We told her mom, and she was really glad we came. But then who comes in the door but Kristen? She was really mad. I feel like I lost one of my best friends. Colby, I did what I thought the Lord was telling me to do. And then look what happened. I guess I just didn't hear him right. Well, Lindsay, you know the Bible says that greater love has no man than when he lays down his life for a friend. Well, what you did today was to lay down your friendship to save Kristen's life. Remember that we prayed about this? And after we prayed, you felt God wanted you to talk to Kristen's mom? You showed your love and your concern for Kristen when you did that. But sometimes it takes a little time for God to be able to work in a person's heart. But I know that he will make this right with you and Kristen because he is great. I know that he will. a few weeks. Is everything okay? Yeah. I'm in a special kind of hospital, and I'm learning a lot there. 
That's great. My mom and my sister are working things out, too. I guess that wouldn't have happened if you hadn't have told. I'm sorry for being mad at you. That's okay. I'm really glad you're getting better. It's still hard, though. I mean, I look at myself and I think I'm fat, and it's really hard for me to eat. But at least I know that I'm not alone anymore. You never were alone, Kristen. God was always with you. Yeah, I know. Thanks for being a great friend, Lindsay. Oh, here, I got this for you. Oh, thanks. Open it, Lindsay. Okay, I'll <laughs> open it. Wow, a friendship necklace. Thanks. Oh, wow. Love you guys. Thanks. Sure. <laughs> You know, I never would have had the courage to talk to your mom if the kids hadn't prayed for me and if Kara hadn't come with me. We've been praying for you every day, Kristen. But some of you guys haven't even met me till today. Why would you pray for somebody you don't even know? Actually, we do that all the time. That's what being in the Lord's family is all about. That's right, Kristen. You see, a family will stand together through the good times and the bad times. And that's what we are, a real family, God's family.
It's amazing how much prayer helps. That's right, Kristen. And when we see God answering our prayers, it really builds up our faith. But Colby, there's something I don't understand. I mean, I know how to pray for stuff, but how can we tell when God's talking back? How do we know what he's really saying? Well, that's where God's word comes in, Kristen. And one of the best ways to get to know God is by reading his word. And that's why we memorize Bible verses, so the Lord can bring the verses back into our memories when we're not sure about what to do. But did the Bible tell Lindsay to talk to my mother? Lindsay, did you really get that from the Bible? Well, kind of. You see, there's this peace I feel inside when God talks to me. That's why it's important to listen to God's still, small voice inside your heart. That's right. And sometimes when we read the Bible, God will speak directly to your heart. Or God can use someone else to say something. And you just know God's speaking through them. He can talk to us in all kinds of ways. That's because He is the living Word. That's right, Kristen, he does. And he doesn't always use a voice you can hear like yours or mine, but it's kind of like having a best friend. You know how sometimes you know exactly what they're going to say even before they open their mouths? Kind of like us, Kira. We're always finishing each, each other's sentences. sentences. Yeah. <laughs> so the more time I spend with God, reading his word and praying and going to church, the better I can hear his voice speaking in my heart. Exactly. Because the better you get to know him, the more you are in tune with his spirit. It's kind of like being best friends with your creator. And he never goes away. This is so cool. I can have God as a best friend and we can like talk. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so glad God brought you guys into my life. Thank you for praying for me. 
I'm gonna need your prayers though to help me with my work in the clinic. We'll help Kristen, right you guys? Right. Yeah. We all need each other, Kristen, and we all need the Lord every minute of every day. And to those of you that are watching at home, you can get to know the Lord just like all of my friends here do. All you have to do is to ask God to forgive you for all of the things that you have ever done that were wrong, or for all of the things that you'll still do from time to time that are wrong. And ask Jesus to become your forever friend. And if you already know Jesus, remember to spend time with him every day. The more time you spend with him, the better you get to know him. And the better you can hear his voice speaking to your heart. And remember that God loves you. Have a great day, everyone, and we'll see you next time on Colby's Clubhouse. Bye!